Hello and welcome back to my Video Studio Pro X6 tutorial series. In this tutorial I'm going to be explaining and showing you Instant Projects in X6. So Instant Projects, what you need to do first of all is click on the Instant Project button which is just here. In the previous versions you may have seen it down here in the timeline area but they have actually moved up here. Okay, so here's all the Instant Projects. There's ones for the beginning, middle, ending, or for the complete project. So I'm just going to choose a beginning one, and I'm just going to go for the first one here. You left click on it and drag it into the timeline. You'll see that the instant project is now here. So you'll see if we play this through. So you saw that there was a few screens and there was a space for the video to go in them. So this is probably what you would do for this instant project, you would put your videos inside those screens. So I'll show you what I mean by this and first of all you need to go to your media tab which is up here and choose a video which you wish to go in on those screens. So I've dragged that video down into the timeline now, i just zoom out a bit and I'm just going to resize that to the length of one of these preset videos which are these three here in the overlay tracks you'll see that in the instant project these one two and three are these three overlay tracks here so this is the video that I want to put in this screen here which is number one so to do that I'm just gonna get that the right size so I'm just gonna drag that over the top of it and then just shrink that to the same size as the one underneath. So if I take that off there again I can see that it is the right size for that one. So if you left click on this one here and then press delete on your keyboard or right click on it and press delete you'll see that that is just here and then you can drag your new video clip into its position. It should snap into the position there. You can then on the screen here position this video into the right place so using these little squares on the bottom if you just drag that to approximately the right size just get that lined up in there and you can drag it down as well just needs a bit more in the top left hand corner So you can see that's pretty much in there now. So when we play that clip again, you'll see that the, that new video will appear. So you saw it appeared there instead of the number one. But it did, it just appeared and we don't really want that. We want it to have some kind of either a fade or some kind of fancy thing to make it look a bit more professional. So to have it as a fade, you just left click on that video clip again, click options on the right here and then you'll see these two fade in motion effects so if you left click on both of them it will fade in and then it will fade out at the end of the clip so if we play that bit again you can see that it came and it faded in instead of just appearing in your face which is a, it's a bit nicer to look at and it looks a bit more professional so there are different things you can do with these, this is just the basics obviously um, and you would add different videos for number two and three as well and you can change the text I'll just quickly show you how you change the text on these so you just left click on the text down here and then click on it in there I'm just going to call this one a trip in the woods and then you can position that wherever you want you can align it to the top if you wish or you can just drag it down a bit and then you can change the color so I'm going to change that to a green and you can change the font put that as basic sans heavy and you can change it to be bold or underlined or italic so I've underlined it there and remove that and now you can see that I've just basically formatted that text to make it look a ni bit nicer than just a plain piece of text so if you play this through once more you'll see what it now looks like. So 
So these instant projects have got a lot of potential and it actually makes video editing a lot easier and it's a, it's a lot easier than making these things from scratch. So I do recommend them. Um, that you can, if you just play around with this software you can really learn quite a lot. Um, so yeah, just, just see what you can do with them. If you've got any questions at all then just ask in the comments below, I'll be more than happy to help you. Um, so please just stay tuned and look out for more videos like this in the future.